Thank you for clicking on the video, FISA Bill, Mike Johnson, and basically breaking down the current state of the United States. So strap yourself in because this video is about to blow your mind. Mike Johnson, the big swamp creature, the elephant in the room. President Trump says he loves the guy. And recently when Trump went to the bodega in New York City, when Trump was asked about it, he said, I, yeah, I think he's a good person. Is Mike Johnson really a good person? Is Mike Johnson secretly a Democrat? These individuals who, many of whom seem to say things that, like calling you a Democrat, Marjorie Taylor Greene called you a Democrat. Um, opinions based not in reality. I wonder it, how much you look at that and you wonder if you contributed to, contributed to it in any way. That's a good question, Jake. You and I have known each other a long time. I think we go back maybe 20, 25 years. And we do. I'm a lifelong conservative. You yep. know my whole record. Let's go ahead and unpack. <laughs> Anna Paulina from Florida had the courage to throw it onto the table of motion. So let's go ahead and unpack this video. The FISA bill was created in 1978 and from its first inception throughout the time span of history all the way to 2024, there has been significant amendments and controversies surrounding the FISA bill. The original idea of the 1978 introduction was to defend the United States from enemies abroad. So particularly foreign enemies in the United States. So therefore, the intelligence community was super happy, like cavemen jumping up and down and celebrating victoriously when the FISA bill was created in 1978. After eating a whole bunch of Cheetos, the Congress people throughout the time span of the first origination of the FISA bill all the way up until 2024, which is now, which is when I heard about it and you also heard about it. As you guys remember, the 9-11 infamous attacks in New York was the introduction of some amendments such as the Patriot Act and the Freedoms Act. Ultimately, a whole bunch of surveillance power, just like the Chinese Communist government. Under a bunch of scrutiny and even President Donald Trump on Truth Social posted in all capital letters, KILL THE BILL. And a whole bunch of Republicans, such as Andy Biggs, Anna Paulina Luna, and I believe Marjorie Taylor Greene, and a significant other different Republicans and conservatives were 100% against the reauthorization as of April 2024 to reauthorize the FISA bill. Despite major opposition of this from the left and the conservative party and liberty lovers, Mike Johnson was the best car salesman of all time. House Speaker Mike Johnson urging House members to reauthorize a bill that permits spying on non-citizens abroad. The current version of the bill allows the FBI to search collected data to see if it includes data from Americans Conservatives want warrants to be required for collecting American data. It's another strike against Johnson, who could soon face a challenge to his speakership. That's right. Cheeto stain Mike Johnson was basically able to get on his horse and galvanize a significant amount of Republicans to vote against this, despite a vast army of conservative everyday Jane and Joes not wanting this to be able to pass. So despite a whole bunch of disapproval from the conservative party, Speaker Mike Johnson was extremely persuasive and demanding in the name of urgency to get this passed. The biggest pitch Mike Johnson was able to get across was number one, he was able to sell a sense of urgency, basically emphasizing extremely strongly that they need to pass it, which is the Republican House of Members need to pass this in order to make sure that it doesn't get kicked over and forced to the Senate where no reforms are going to be able to happen. And number two, 
Speaker Mike Johnson also emphasized that if we get it done and get it passed now in the House, as of April 2024, they will be able to add amendments and reforms to the reauthorization of the FISA bill. That was Speaker Mike Johnson's pitch. For what purpose does gentlelady from Florida seek recognition? The objection is heard. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Florida seek recognition? Clerk will report the motion. Ms. Lee of Florida moves to reconsider the vote on passage of H.R. 7888. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The motion is adopted. I, I have. No, please. Mr. Speaker. For what purpose does the gentlelady from Florida seek recognition? I ask for a recorded vote, Mr. Speaker. A recorded vote is requested. Those favoring a recorded vote will rise. A sufficient number having risen, the recorded vote is ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question are postponed. In a world cloaked in darkness and secrecy, the FISA reauthorization bill looms ominously, <laughs> casting a shadow of fear and uncertainty over the nation as the sinister forces behind the scenes conspire in the shadows the true extent of their malevolent intentions remains shrouded in mystery the reauthorization of FISA a tool of surveillance and control threatened to plunge us deeper into the abyss of tyranny and oppression with the specter of evil lurking in the corridors of power, the name Mike Johnson emerges as a figure of dread and foreboding. Whispers of corruption and deceit surround him, painting a portrait of Mike Johnson ensnared in the web of darkness. As the reauthorization looms, questions abound about Johnson's allegiance and motives. Is he a guardian of liberty or a puppet of the malevolent forces seeking to tighten their grip on power? Amidst the encroaching darkness, the fate of our nation hangs in the balance as the debate rages on the stakes. Could not be higher. Will we succumb to the forces of evil? Or will we rise to confront the darkness and reclaim our freedom? The battle for the soul of our nation has begun, and the outcome will shape our future for generations to come. In heart of the political battleground, the FISA reauthorization emerges as a weapon of darkness poised to engulf our nation in a shadow abyss. Mike Johnson once seen as a defender of liberty, now stands accused of betraying the very principles he swore to protect. With fate of our civil liberties hanging in the balance, Johnson's attempts to sell the reauthorization ring hollow, echoing with the cries of a nation betrayed. As the motion to the table Reauthorization ignites a fierce debate. Luna stands as beacon of courage, refusing to back down in the face of overwhelming opposition. Her unwavering resolve inspires a wave of optimism among conservatives and Trump supporters alike, rallying them to stand firm in the fight against tyranny as the dust settles and the battle draws to a close a sense of triumph fills the air though the road ahead may be fraught with challenges the indomitable spirit of the american people shines brightly casting aside the shadows of fear and doubt with unwavering hope in their hearts they march forward into a future filled with promise and possibility, united in their determination to uphold the principles of our freedoms and our justice for all.